All right, so did you know that small rig has lights? Yes, small rig has lights and they're actually pretty great and they're lighting my studio. So first of all, I just wanna say thank you to Small Rig for sending these lights over. I'm excited to use them in this space. And this video is not a review video. I've got some of those coming out in the near future. I just wanted to show you that Small Rig has lights and they're really good. And here's what they sent and here's how I'm using them. So Small Rig, thank you. And if you're watching, here's a little light tour. All right, so this first one is the RC120B, and this is a bicolor light. So you do have the different color temperatures, and you also have some, you know, different effects on it as well. So um, if you just click over, you can see that the different temperatures, you can go all the way down to 2700. Can you see it? All the way up to 6500. So like an extreme white light to an extreme yellow light. And so that's what that B stands for on there is that bicolor light. And usually here in my office, I'm keeping it around 5,600. And then I have been using this, you know, more rectangle soft box. I've been using it more for like a uh, shoulder light or a back light. All right, so now for the next light, and this is the RC120D. And this one I have the bigger dome on, and this is just the daylight. So the D stands for daylight. So it's gonna be around that 5600 color temperature. And having that bigger dome on here is great for, you know, those talking head shots that I normally do. So I have the key light with the big dome, and then the shoulder light with the rectangle. So Small Rig ended up sending two of these RC120Ds, two of these daylights, and then two of these bicolor 120s. So this other bicolor 120, I actually have set up with a gobo light. So this one is gonna give me some effects and let me turn it on here. And this one I normally keep at more of a yellow color, I think around 3200, but this one's gonna give me those effects there. So like, it looks like a window in the background. So it looks like I just woke up. So this is a separate attachment that um, I did not get from Small Rig. This is not from Small Rig, but I'll put a link in the description as well so you can check it out. But it'll, there's, different, there's different inserts that you can do if you want different window effects or if you want like a starburst effect or something like that. I'm not totally sure. But I'm using this RC120B for lighting effects on the back wall. But I've got some interviews coming up that I will be using those effects on as kind of a filler in the background. All right, now the last one and probably my favorite light out of all of them is going to be the 220B. It's gonna be like this one, but it's a 220 bicolor light. And this one, let me set it up here. So this light, this 220, I've been using a lot with the lantern. And this is a small rig lantern. And I've been actually using this quite a bit on set as well as here in the studio. And I'll show you how I use it here in the studio. Is I'll just kind of uh, point it up like this and raise it up. And then it just illuminates the space a little bit. So rather than having those, you know, top lame office lights on, this one kind of just kind of illuminates the space a little bit. And this is the bicolor light. So I do have it set at 5600 just to kind of match the other lights that are in the space. So for shooting like a talking head or something like that, you know, I'd have my key light. I'd have a light that kind of illuminates the space, and then I have my hair light, and then the gobo light, which will give me some effects on the walls. Now, it all really depends on the look that you're going for as well. So if you want it a little bit more moody, maybe put a grid on this softbox right here that will, you know, just kind of direct the light just a little bit more and you don't want that glow, but instead you'd have a more like directed light. So it'd be like a grid 
like on here, but you put it on here, and then maybe you don't have the lantern to illuminate the space. Now, one other thing that Small Rig did send, they did send a mini version of this as well, which I keep packed up right now, but that would also be good on set. You know, if you don't want to take this big rectangle one, you could use that mini dome as more of like a backlight with that other 120D or one of the bicolor lights if you have to match, you know, light coming in the window or something like that. So that is a very quick setup of the different lights that I have here from Small Rig in the studio and how I'm using them in this studio space. So as you see videos from this space moving forward, you know now how I am lighting the whole thing. And I will do just a little bit more of a review on some of these lights as well, so that you know how they work and some of the effects that you get with the different lights. But for right now, that's a quick lighting tour from the Small Rig lights. And yes, Small Rig does have lights. And yes, they're actually really good. If you have any questions about some of these lights, comment down below. We can get a conversation started down there about Small Rig lights. It's not just cages or camera accessories. So watch for those review vids coming up soon. I'll tell you all about these different Small Rig lights.